Brad Tucker, you know it's been a rough morning for us here, and this morning I want to share with you some very tough news. A face that's familiar to you here on Daybreak is no longer with us. 41 NBC News anchor Taylor Terrell was involved in an accident overnight and did not survive. She was a bright spot in the mornings for us here at 41 NBC for about two years, and she loved working as a reporter. I first met Taylor when she was still a student at Georgia Southern in Statesboro at a career fair. She was about to graduate and wanted to sign up for a summer internship. She called me week after week, excited to make sure it was all set up. And at the end of that internship, I hired her as a reporter and then promoted her to weekend anchor, and then promoted her again to join you here on Daybreak. To say that this loss is devastating for us here at 41 NBC and to her family, is an understatement. Taylor was scheduled to be off today to celebrate her birthday. Instead, we're remembering her spirit, her optimism, and her work. She touched so many people through our series, What's Right With Our Schools, interviews here at the station on Daybreak and 41 Today, and through the people she met while working with different volunteer groups like Habitat for Humanity across, and all across the region. I want to ask you this morning that you pray for her family during this extremely difficult time. Here's our tribute to 41 NBC anchor Taylor Terrell. Good morning to you, Middle Georgia, and thank you so much for joining us for a very special edition of 41 Today. I'm Taylor Terrell. I'm Sean Franklin. Middle Georgia, we're not strangers to this heat wave, but there may be some relief in the next few days. Kristen, what can we expect this weekend? Democrats took over the floor of the U.S. House all day and all night. Okay, he's going to the net. Okay. Yeah, he likes the warmth of your body. That feels good to him. See, you're bonding, isn't that We great? are bonding. Oh, there he is through your hair over here. This is good. Yes. Seneca believes using an app or any type of fitness device, even for a simple walk, makes a big difference. There's lots of different options. There's Garmin, Fitbit, Polar, Leaf, and Apple, all of which count your steps and keep you on track. This is what happens right after a severe storm like what we had last night. A neighborhood trying to put themselves back together. They entered so fast and within two minutes they were gone. Cozy says they knew exactly which places to hit as if they've been here before. If you're into the outdoors, Columbus, Georgia is where you want to visit. On the border of Georgia and Alabama, Whitewater Express sends more than 40,000 people down 2.5 miles on the Chattahoochee River. If they're doing a few laps on the Chattahoochee and then checking out the zip line over here at Whitewater Express, your energy and your adrenaline are racing. So at this point, I think it's best that we go ahead and show you a few more attractions that Columbus has to offer. How many students do you have? We have approximately about 20 to 22 students in our department. So what are we seeing today? Today we'll be performing for you a Negro spiritual entitled Ride on King Jesus. 